What's going on everyone? It is Zach and today is September 23rd. It has been exactly one month since I was in the hospital and I guess technically I am cleared to run again. I don't know how things are going to go but I'm excited to get back at it. I also don't have my tripod anymore because I dropped it in a fire in a couple videos ago. This is a sad day. I dropped part of my tripod in the fire. I wasn't even drunk. I don't drink, so I was just being an idiot and it just happened to happen. So I have to go to Best Buy after this and go get that taken care of so I can get back on the grind here. But got my shoes on and we're back at where we last ran. Let's get going. Here we go. We're setting out. I'm probably gonna do about three miles. So don't expect anything too crazy. It's, it's not gonna be that long of a video either. And holy crap. Look at this thing. I'm already distracted. What the heck? Look, look how big he is. Eh, dude, it's like straight out of a bug's life. It's such a beautiful day though. It's like 70 degrees and the past few weeks, I've been really feeling the fall weather and summer's officially over now, so I gotta get used to it, but it's been really chilly, like hoodie, long sleeve, sweatpants weather. I like it. What a great day, man. One mile in and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, I'm out of shape. I'm basically at scratch right now, which is okay. I like the idea of starting over. I get some sick satisfaction from it, just being able to watch yourself progress. And I'm excited to see what happens over the next few weeks and months. For a while, this really bothered me because I was in such great shape. I mean, a couple months ago, I think I was in good enough shape to go under two hours and 40 minutes in a marathon. And now I'm struggling to break eight minutes in a mile, but we're just taking it one step at a time. And this time next year, if we keep at it, who knows where we'll be. I think I'll be very proud of myself. And I hope to make you guys proud as well and inspire you guys because I'm at, I'm at my low right now. Uh, physicality wise. I'm just trying to channel my inner David Goggins, Cam Haynes, you already know. So it all starts here. Speaking of David Goggins, he posted a picture on Instagram yesterday of his feet and how badgered and beat up they were. And this might sound really weird, but I want my feet to look like that one day. Not because I have some like weird foot fetish, but because it, it shows something, it shows dedication. It shows that I actually stuck to something and worked not just hard, but to my limits. Like your feet don't get that messed up just by working hard. You have to really press yourself every day. And I wanna to get to that point just to see what I'm made of, you know? I do feel a lot better now that I got my hair cut. In case you guys couldn't tell, I chopped off like half of it. It was like so long. It actually annoyed the hell out of me when I exercised. So I feel, I just feel cleaner now. Here's the parking lot I ran in, literally just in circles to get my last uh, few thousand steps in to finish the 100K steps in one day video. I was so dead by then. Oh, I'm gonna get nightmares every time I'm over here. It's incredible how out of shape you can get just from taking a few weeks off. I mean, I've been walking too. It's not like I've just been sitting idle for a whole month. I mean, I've been getting in some decent, you know, steppage, but without running, man, I just feel like I've done nothing. And I can really feel the asthma kicking in. And I should have taken an inhaler before this, but I kind of like the feeling. It makes me feel like I'm actually doing something that's pushing me again. Two miles in. That mile was a bit slower than the last one, but I'm just chugging along. I'm gonna go to 3.1 miles just so I can say I ran a 5K and it'll give me a nice gauge on progress in the future whenever I run a 5K. Another reason why I'm super stoked to get back into running is because it seems to be like the only type of exercise that allows me to make better decisions when I'm not exercising. So like my diet, has been so bad the last few months. It 
it's just like I get depressed or something. I don't feel depressed, but my mind must be. And it, I, I just, I can't make healthy choices. I, I just make horrible decisions consistently. And when I'm running consistently, it seems to be the opposite. I seem to be just a much better person with more drive. And I, I want that back. While we're on the topic of running, I actually have a, it's gonna sound really messed up to call it funny, but it's kind of funny. I mean, every, everyone's good. But yesterday, I was looking for my dad and I called my sister and I'm like, where's dad? And she's like, he's at the hospital. I'm like, why? Well, my dad, he runs early in the morning. He's a freak, like two to four in the morning. He was running at four in the morning the other day and it's pitch black on the trail. So he tripped over a boulder, apparently. Ate shit, he did like a Spider-Man dive and landed just horribly. And it turns out he broke both of his elbows. So now he can't really do anything. <laughs> so we're all taking care of him. We're, he's gonna be fine. But he's, we told him, like you can't be doing that. A couple years ago, he broke his ribs doing that. He ran into like a pool and he ran the marathon and couldn't figure out why he did so poorly. It's just like, this man doesn't learn. <laughs> and time. As you can see, not the fastest 5K in the world. Uh, my PR, by the way, is 15.07 to give you an idea of how much I've regressed. But that's 3.1 more miles in the books, more than I had yesterday. And I'm totally fine with that. My heart feels good. It's just asthma bothering me. I'm just walking a little bit to kind of ease my legs after all of that. I mean, I forgot what it was like to run, the, the pounding you take, even for something as minuscule as a couple miles. But I'm so excited. I mean, I, I think I'm good. I think I'm in the clear. And it's fall. And over here in PA, I mean, fall is beautiful. It is a wonderful time to run. The weather is so nice. It's, it's beautiful with all the leaves. And I'm excited to make more running content for you guys. So. Also, if you guys made it this far in the video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up. It, it helps the channel out a lot. And if you're new and wanna see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. A lot of great content coming soon. And also the phase five challenge, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I left a link in the description to that video. I left a submission for it a couple days ago. I'm basically trying to join this esports organization just so I can, I wanna grow as a content creator. I wanna do this for a living. I want this to be my career, and if you could give that video some love, I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, I'll catch you all in tomorrow's video. Goodbye.